In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the 60 centimeter uh, satellite dish. It's a zone two dish, so we typically use for FreeSat or indeed Sky Dish and uh, satellite installs. Okay, so the component parts in front of us here. So we had an existing video on this here on FreeTV.ie, but the design of the dish has changed a little bit over the years. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to reshoot the video and just show exactly how to do it. So. Um, this is a super dish in terms of the general design. It's really clever in terms of the mesh thing, so it lets the winds move through. Uh, and it hasn't really changed in terms of the general design because it simply works so well. Robust gives a good signal, all the rest of it. The type of tools we're going to need for this is we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and we're also going to need a 10 millimeter spanner here, okay? So that's basically it. So it includes everything from the dish, the arm, the LMB, and the brackets on the wall. So all the componentry that we're going to use is directly in front of us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it bit by bit. Now it's a single LMB with it, but if you were using a quad LMB or a hybrid LMB, it wouldn't make any difference. It's exactly the same process, okay? So what I want to do is I want to reduce the amount of stuff on the table here. So I'm going to do the wall bracket first and just show exactly what's involved with that. So the wall bracket's going to be made up of three things. We're going to have two U-bolts and four nuts, okay? So all I'm going to do here is I just slide this through here, you can see this, and I'm just going to screw this in, top and bottom, and I would just put the next U-bolt below, put it in, and what happens then is because of this, we're able to come along, and when we go to get four screws and uh, coach bolts and mount this directly off a wall, right? So we have it this way, and with that then, we can slide this arm directly through, and we can mount the bracket this way, we can mount it that way, or indeed, if we wanted to get it really tight to the wall, we can mount it this way, directly down or directly up. So that's one of the great things about this bracket, is that it just gives such strong things. And when it's tightened in here, you see you have little sort of grooves on the metal bracket here, which hopefully you can see quite well. And it just tightens in and in and in. So a 10 millimeter spanner will do that for you. So now you have your wall bracket fully assembled. So what would happen then is the dish, when it's fully assembled, simply slides down over this and it grips on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move on to the next step of the process then. So this here is called the dish bracket. And this here is called the elevation bracket. And it's, uh, the dish bracket is called the dish bracket because it goes directly onto the dish. And the elevation bracket is called what, that simply because um, it controls the elevation of it. So you can mount it this way or that way, but it's, it's effectively exactly the same. It's just a mirror image of it. So once again, we're going to be using the same U-bolts that we did previously. So I put a U-bolt in here, another U-bolt on the bottom, and we would put nuts on. And again, we have the same gripping mechanism here that would allow us to connect this directly onto um, the wall bracket that I just put down the wall, the tube, okay? So that's it. So just imagine these two uh, in there. I'm not going to fully assemble those simply because I just want to keep the process as quick as possible. So we Im now imagine we have this and we have it um, directly um, with the two uh, U-bolts hanging out here. And what we'll do is this is where people can actually get confused. They're wondering should they put, let this go on the outside or the inside of the bracket here. Well, they mesh together, but this slides on the inside here, okay? And what we will do is, there's holes here that we want to line up. So I'll just try to get the first one here. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this um, bolt here, and I'm going to slide it in. So you slide it from the inside out, and I come along and I screw it in here. Now in the old days, there wasn't, wasn't such a clever design on it. You'd be trying to get a screwdriver into the inside to hold this in position, but you don't have to do that anymore because there's a little four-way slot on this and it matches up exactly with the hole here. So we'll do the same here again. So now all of a sudden the bracket, the elevation bracket and the dish bracket are being joined together in this process. And we're going to do the same on the far side here. So the reason that it slides from the inside out, it's just a much neater way of doing this, okay? So it's a really neat design. And I'm just going to do this because having this well assembled will just make the next part of the video run smoother for me, okay? So now we're in a reasonably happy situation where we have the elevation bracket on it. 
So the way this would work is if this was connected to the dish, what we could do is we could tilt the angle up and down like this, so we can change the angle that the dish is going to be pointed at. Now one of the really clever things about the dish is, the angle coming in from the Astro 2 satellite is actually dropping onto the dish at around 19, 20 degrees, but because of the curvature in the dish, if you actually were setting up this dish perfectly from the front and came along and put a spirit level on it, it would be perfectly vertical. So it looks like it's aiming straight ahead, but it's actually pulling in signal at 21 degrees. But anyway, what we need to do here is we need to just come along and we need to do the assembly here. So there's four holes in this dish, which hopefully you can see, and there's four holes in this bracket here. And what we want is this slot here that's going to hold the LMB arm to go through first. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to get this dish that's this nut that's here, you can see it, it has a Phillips screw uh, on it. I'm going to slide it through. I'm going to drop it in here and put in a single screw or single nut here and I'm just very loosely going to push this in. Okay, so that's loosely put in and I'm going to do a second one here quite loosely as well. Now it's important at this point not to fully assemble this and get it tight because we need the flexibility of a loose setting on this to be able to go to the next step. So I'm just going to do the screws here, at least three of them I'll put in at this point, just to give a bit of rigidity, because if it's flopping around in the video, it will be less instructive, I would imagine. Um, so we have another one here, and we screw it directly in. Okay. Right. So what we would do at this point is, we have this arm that's here, and we want to slide this through, because what we're going to do is, in the normal term events, what I'd do is I'd snap on this LMB, either now or at a later point, and then click very securely in here, and to be held at a set distance at a set angle away from the dish, okay? I won't bother at this point putting it on, but that snapping mechanism is extremely easy to put it on, and extremely difficult to take it off. So, you know, just make sure that you're putting on the correct LMB for your requirement, okay? So basically within the LMB range, single ones, you have twins, quads, just hybrids, octos, octos was eight, eight ways. So what I'll do is I'll just slide this through here. And what I'll do is I'll grab this long bolt that I have here. So I'm just gonna to try to slide it through and then maybe give you a guide so you can see. So this would just go to the far side. And what I would do is I would tighten this in, put uh, the, the nut on the far end of it, tighten it in. And it's important that you tighten it in quite tight here. If you had tied in the screws here, tightened them fully in on the dish earlier than this, what would happen is you wouldn't be in a position to tighten this properly because what would happen is it's already fixed in a position on the dish, okay? So you do, do at this point is you'd snap it in. So you can imagine then all of a sudden we have this with the LMB snapped on the front and we have our dish bracket hanging off the wall and all of a sudden we have our fully assembled sky dish, okay? So hopefully that dish is, or that video is somewhat informative of you because we do get a lot of people who say, oh look, it's just not right and things like that. Sky dishes always work. The assembly on them is super. We just buy like these in thousands and thousands, this type of freesat uh, zone two dish. If you went for a smaller zone one dish, the assembly process is slightly different on it. But in Ireland um, and certain parts of the UK, like Scotland, Wales, things like that, very much people still use zone two dishes simply because the signal is always going to be larger on a 60 centimeter dish than it would be on a 45 centimeter dish. Uh, the other interesting thing about it is, just say you get your dish and there's cosmetic damage that will make no difference, if the dishes were pushed in on the sides, even if you, the two inches of the side of the dish was bet in here, this would still work perfectly. The thing that affects dishes and the thing that you really need to look out on if you're really struggling to get signal and all the rest of it, only if the curvature of the dish here has been damaged, where it's not giving an angle where it's reflecting the signal back to the LB in the you know, described manner. Only then would it really affect the signal. Other than that, you could have quite a damaged dish and it would actually still work quite well. So overall, I would say the assembly time on this would probably be, if we're mounting it before we do the setup of the actual angles and things like that, um, probably no more than about four or five minutes if you get, get quite experienced with assembled dishes. So that's it anyway, an overview of the assembly of the 60 centimeter zone two dish.